Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Squad Builder. But it's a bit of a different twist that I've never done before. And today is a squad of family members. Now, I've got like four sets of, of two family members. Uh, so there's three players in this entire squad builder that have not got a brother that's on the game or a father or a son or whatever. And we'll get to those guys right now. The first one's Rufier. Uh, he has no other, like, relation on the game. Uh, and we'll get those three out of the way and then I can bring in to you guys and show you who are family members on Ultimate Team or on FIFA 17 itself. So we've got Kevin uh, Malkui. Malkuitz? I don't know. He's another one of the guys which doesn't have a brother on the game. Uh, he's a silver right back, but he gets chemistry to what will be one of uh, the, the first brothers that we'll talk about. And then I needed to bring in a French... Uh, like legend center back in order to get chemistry uh, for a certain player going forwards And I've decided today to try out Laurent Blanc who I've got to say is one of the best center backs I've ever used really really solid player So the first set of brothers here in the squad of family members are the Pogba's We've got Florentin Pogba here who plays for Saint-Étienne in the French league gun uh, He is a 77 rated rare gold with 67 pace 77 defending and 85 physical He's six foot two, medium high work rates, not too bad. And of course, he's brothers with Paul Pogba. Now, I believe there's also a third brother who plays in the Eredivisie, but he didn't fit into this squad. Uh, maybe I should have put him on the bench. And uh, I think his name is Matthias Pogba, right? Um, but Paul Pogba, obviously the world's most expensive player. 88 rated on foot with five star skills. He comes into the squad today. The next set of brothers that we've got today then are Jordan Lukaku and Romelu Lukaku, the Belgian beasts. We've got a 73 rated. It's silver left back. He plays for Lazio in the Serie A. And he's actually one of my favorite left backs in that league. Him and Alexandro are definitely my go-to. He, he outplays his silver ranking for sure. And then my highest version of Romelu Lukaku. We have got the 90 rated player of the month. Now we're playing him at Cam today. I've got a very weird formation and stuff going on. Just because it was the only way for me to get players in. And on full chemistry. Like this whole team is on full chemistry. So it's kind of cool. Um, and then we've got the, the Hazard brothers. You know some more Belgians coming in. Which definitely helped me chemistry wise. Uh, we've got Thorgan Hazard who who is uh, well, a central player, plays up front for Mönchengladbach, or his default item is a centre forward. Um, but he's 80 rated this year with 81 pace and 83 dribbling. Also got four star skills, but he's nowhere near as good on the game as Eden Hazard. I've got the 91 rated player of the month from a way, way back. But of course, he does have even better versions available now. And sometime soon, I'm sure we'll see a team of the season version as well. Um, and then the final two set of family members that we've got are not brothers. We have father and son. We have Justin Cliver, a new player that's only just really been released into Ultimate Team. He is 70 rated as a silver and there's a lot of hype about this guy from you Eredivisie and from you Dutch guys out there. He's got four star skills and weak foot with 83 pace and 78 dribbling. Other than that, stats don't look too great, but he does get a nice strong link to my favorite legend, Patrick Cliver. I absolutely love this guy. He might not be the best legend out there, but for some reason, I've always clicked with him on FIFA. And I really enjoy him. He, you know, legend status for me. Absolute beast. Uh, I, I, I love him. So that right there is the starting 11 of a, a team of family members. Only 3 out of the 11 don't actually have a family member on the game. Um, but everybody else helps to link chemistry together. And now we need some more honourable mentions. So we've got the, the Torre brothers, right? Yaya and Colo Torre. And then one that I didn't really know about, but a friend told me about, is Tiago and Rafinha. Apparently they're brothers. I didn't actually know that, but they're going on the bench as well. And then we have the legend Loudrop brothers. Uh, of course, Brian and Michael Loudrop are both, both, both legends on the game and both brothers in real life. And then, of course, that last substitute spot, you could put the third and final Pogba in there uh, if, if he's even on Ultimate Team. I'm sure he probably is, right? Um, but that is... That's the squad. Now, we went into, into the games. I played some games with this team, and I scored quite a few goals. It was noticeable. Like, the more noticeable, uh, or not the more noticeable, but the, the let's say the more famous brother uh, of all of the, the ones that we've, that we've mentioned so far. So, like, Romelu Lukaku, uh, Eden Hazard. Uh, we've got Patrick Cliver is the father of Justin. Uh, and then Paul Pogba over, you know, the other Pogba. Uh, I've forgotten his name already. I can't even I can't believe it. Um, but yeah, the, the ones that you know the name of more, 
they were definitely the better ones. You know, they're higher rated on the game and they do play a lot better. But it was fun and it was interesting to just get all of these guys into a squad uh, and see see how they performed. I really sort of I sort of thought of this idea because I wanted to bring in Justin Cliver. I wanted to try the new Cliver because one, he's new and there's loads of hype about him, especially from, as I said earlier, uh, Eredivisi fans and Ajax fans, of course. Um, but then we've also got, you know, it just gives me an excuse to use Patrick Cliver and I literally don't need an excuse. <laughs> I hardly even need an excuse to go out and buy the guy. Uh, and now that I've bought him, 245k for Patrick Cliver. Can you even get your head around how awesome legend prices are right now? They're super, super low. As you saw earlier in the squad builder, I paid like 475k for Laurent Blanc, who is one of the best centre-back legends, or probably the best centre-back legend, and everyone is always paying loads and loads of coins for him. I'm pretty sure he was like a million coins for the longest time. But because of the TOTS hype and market crash and stuff, the whole market has just come crumbling down, and, well, legends actually, can compared to... A lot of like the the special items that we've had this year uh, don't have the stats of of like the tots and the crazy items that we've had for a lot of players. You know, Rude Hullet isn't even a member of the Hullet gang, so that's weird. Um, you know, he doesn't have 80 in every single stat, like or more. Like, there's loads of players that have way better stats than Rude Hullet on this game. But in my eyes, I think Legends kind of outrank and outplay quite a lot of regular items even if they are special team of the weeks or tots or stuff or, or stuff like that uh, i do think legends have like i almost think it's like a hidden stat that is just like they, they have a, a an utter class about them i always get on so well with legends always have been my favorite like card type on the game uh and so i i would never play on ps4 for that reason just because uh, legends on on Xbox literally are, are the best thing about it really for me because you can get all the tots and stuff on both consoles But legends are exclusive and I do love a bit of exclusivity uh, But talking about the Cliverts then Patrick got a lot of goals for me and he was solid as, as ever I changed the formation about with this team sometimes put Justin at cam sometimes I played him up front with his dad uh, And then sometimes I was playing Lukaku in center mid Hazard up front like I was doing all sorts of stuff and actually, Justin Clivert did get a couple of goals for me as well. But it was mainly Eden Hazard and Patrick Clivert that were getting the goals for me. And that was the final one right there. If you've enjoyed this different type of video, hit that thumbs up button. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. You can click that little button below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.